Howdy. So this week I watched Hannah. Um, and I thought it was okay. It was definitely cool. Definitely cool. I'm going with a seven. Uh, it's about a wild child. Um, engineered in laboratories to be uh, a hardcore killer from birth. Um, she's taken out of that environment, out of the laboratory environment, by uh, two other killers, CIA assassins. Um, they don't make it so far, and not everything goes according to plan. And Hannah winds up growing up uh, in the wilderness, away from people, uh, away from the modern world, and raised by her father figure. Uh, again, to still, she is driven to fight uh, and I guess to dominate, but here the father really turns it back on her creators, uh, trains her that one day they will come for her and she must destroy them. Uh, and they do come for her. Um, in fact, it's kind of an engineered plan uh, by Hannah's dad, but they do come for her and then it's basically a two-hour tale of revenge, uh, in a nutshell. Stars Eric Bana, Kate Blanchett. Uh, I cannot remember Hannah's name, who played Hannah. Uh, Sophie something, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. I've seen her in something before. She looks familiar, but this is I'm certainly what I'll remember her for. I mean, she carries this film. She's in every scene. I mean, the movie's called Hannah. Uh, it was very cool. I, I'm really bummed that I can't remember who directed it. Uh, because it's a name, and... It ticks me off that I can't remember who it is because he makes good stuff. Um, interesting stuff at the least. And this is another interesting film. Uh, all the acting is, is very good. Eric Bana, I, I think he's a great actor. Uh, he's good in, in pretty much everything he does since Chopper. Uh, when he came on the scene. He's good here. Kate Blanchett also very good in everything she does. She's very good here. She plays the bad guy and she makes a good uh, cool, calm, collected killer type of bad guy. Um, and the girl who plays Hannah. Again, she's young, but I thought her performance was very emotionally rich. Um, obviously a soul well above her own age. Uh, it couldn't keep up its pace. Again, this film is basically kind of a two-hour chase. I mean, she gets caught several times, either on purpose or on accident, but it's basically a two-hour chase and trying to find out her own origins. Um, and why I'm not giving it a higher score is because it just felt uneven to me. When it is that chase, when they are focused on action and tension, it excels. It excels. Uh, very good. The, the editing, um, the soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack was done by the Chemical Brothers. I think the Chemical Brothers have done several soundtracks. You didn't get much hoopla about it uh, compared to maybe Daft Punk doing Tron. I don't know if Daft Punk does a lot of soundtracks or any soundtracks before Tron. But the Chemical Brothers uh, have done soundtracks before. I think the music was awesome. Uh, definitely fit the film. Uh, really, really added something to it. Really enjoyed the score from the Chemical Brothers. 
again, when it's holding you in its grip, when it's tense and uh, full steam ahead, it's very good. Um, but then it breaks for story. And uh, the, you know, the origin of Hannah. And it just seemed to slow down. You know, it just... I, I wanted it to keep going. I wanted it to keep going. And then it just kind of like hit the brakes and slowed down. We had to talk for a while and, you know, hang out. I'm like, you know, let's, let's get back to it. You know, let's get back to it. And then eventually it would. And then I'd be happy again. But then it would slow down and, you know, it was just uneven. It, it was uneven and <laughs> almost aggravatingly so. Uh, so, I, I think uh, that's why I'm not giving it a higher score. Again, it excelled at being very cool. Um, it had a very open ending. Uh, they could have a sequel if they want. The Further Adventures of Hannah. Uh... The film began and ended the same way, uh, with uh, practically the same dialogue, which I think is a Shakespearean technique. Uh, don't hold me to that, but so again, there's there's lots of coolness going on here, and lots of uh, little hints to other genre uh, chase films. Um, but it, I don't know, it never, I think, took its place as one of the great movies it was trying to reference. Uh, again, I, I don't know what else to say. It was gorgeously shot. I really wish uh, I could remember who directed it. Uh, cinematography was great. It all had a solid uh, theme and tone. Uh... I mean, the colors were all, like, icy, steel, flat, much like the personalities displayed, because, again, we're basically dealing uh, with a film filled with killers. You know, people who do nothing but kill. Uh, so their emotions uh, are thin, icy, steel, flat, the way the film looked. So, again, the, it is... It succeeded at uh, that very much, having a cohesive theme and tone. Again, it was just the pacing with with the screenplay. When it was, it wanted to go, 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 and then it would just stop. Uh, so I wish that it would just kept it on going. One of the films I've read compared to this, uh, you know, almost practically every review I happened to cross was Run Lola Run very similar to Run Lola Run uh, but Run Lola Run was like adrenaline for an hour and a half uh, this is not so it didn't quite meet that standard uh, all the acting is very good uh, a good movie it, I mean it's a good it's a seven and that's a that's a solid film uh, you know I say I'm a seven so it's good stuff uh, I don't know what else to say about it, but I think you will enjoy it. I think you should watch it, especially on the big screen. Had gorgeous, again, cinematography uh, out in the middle of the woods. Um, you know, she's hopping around, and uh, you could see a lot of locales. Uh, again, a very good-looking film. Very cool. Just uneven. But a good watch, nonetheless. I highly recommend uh, seeing it in the theater. Uh, definitely rent it if you're an action fan. Um, and I would even call it, you know, somewhat of a chick flick. You know, this is it's very empowering. Um, your your main protagonist is is a young lady, and your main antagonist is uh, a lady. So again, there's there's female empowerment here. So it's a good chick flick as well. Uh, so I, again. I recommend this picture. You should definitely see it. Uh, but don't expect it to blow your mind. You know, don't expect it to blow your mind. And you won't be disappointed. So that's Hannah. 
It's a good seven. Thanks.